Hurricane Idalia slammed Florida and Georgia, making landfall as a powerful Category 3, now pushing its way inland. Fox Weather's Katie Byrne joins us live from Charleston, South Carolina. And Katie, people, of course, are wondering how much more of a punch this storm can deliver. Yeah, Dan, well, we're one of Idalia's last stops, right? They're going through Georgia now, making its way to South Carolina. We've already felt heavy bands of rain because of the storm, uh, but we're expecting more of that as the day goes on. You can see we've already had some fresh water flooding. This, uh, I wanted to clarify, is fresh water because we're right by the battery in Charleston, which is uh, the seawall that protects all these gorgeous, you know, historic homes that a lot of people think of when they think of this city. We've seen some cars trying to drive through some flooded roadways like this, but unfortunately, this is not near the worst impacts we're going to see. That's going to happen later on tonight when we reach high tide around 830. We've got a storm surge warning, a tropical storm warning, and a bunch of watches in place. Also tornado watch. We've already seen some tornado warnings pop off today, one in Charleston County where we are, um, and then we're going to be monitoring that as the day goes on. Looks like a car might try to drive through this and see. That'll give you a picture of how deep it really gets. A lot of water here and a lot more to come. Kids have a half day of school today, so they're already back home. Businesses are doing the same tomorrow. Uh, a lot of people are working from home or remotely because of the impacts that we're going to see later on tonight into tomorrow morning. We're expecting an update, update from the South Carolina governor, Henry McMaster, uh, really in the next half hour. So hopefully we'll have some more information for you. But a lot of people are concerned about that high tide for us here in Charleston, Dan. All right, thanks very much. Katie Byrne reporting live for us.